Hello friends Matty here from Matty Recapped. And, today we are going through a 2006 action, adventure movie called Dead or Alive. The movie starts with a ninja princess, named Kasumi who learns that her brother, Hayate is dead, as they both pick up their swords. Hayabusa asks them to stop. Princess Kasumi throws away her sword, and leaves the palace in a parachute. Just then she receives an invitation, from a fighting contest dead or alive. Next we see a professional wrestler, named Tina Armstrong who is on a yacht, and she receives a call from her father, who insists that she must take part in, the tag team championship in Des Moines. Tina tells him that she has quit, wrestling therefore she will not go, there, right after that a few pirates arrive at, her yacht and attempt to force her to, leave the yacht or else they will finish, her off, being a professional wrestler Tina, fights off all of them and throws them, into the sea eventually. Then she gets invited to the dead or alive fighting contest. After that Christy a master thief and assassin meets a few cops at her apartment who have come to arrest her for stealing cash and diamonds from the safe at hotel peaking last night. Christy tells them that it was her friend Max who stole the diamonds in cash but when the cops do not believe her she somehow fights with them and flees from the hotel on her bike while receiving an invitation to the dead or a live fighting contest. In the next scene all the selected contestants for the DOA fighting contest are being taken to an island on a plane. They are told by the final competitor, Helena Douglas that all the contestants are selected because of their fighting skills and their specialized fields. She explains to them that the DOA contest will give them a chance to win a $10 million prize by proving themselves the best fighters in the world. Tina Armstrong's father Hayabusa and Max also got the invitation to the DOA fighting contest. Kasumi thinks that Hayabusa has been. She tells her brother's best friend Ryu Hayabusa that she will not believe the news of his death unless she finds his body. When Hayabusa says that Hayate's body couldn't be found Princess Kasumi decides to look for her brother herself. Hayabusa tells her not to leave the clan or else she will become a shinobi witch means that she will be treated as an outcast. But Princess Kasumi does not listen to him and before leaving the palace she tells a servant named Ayane that she is aware of her love for Hayate therefore. Kasumi will bring her brother back to the palace Ayane tells her that she is Kasumi's servant but if she leaves the the clan then she will have to take the princess Kasumi's life following her but he tells her that he is also invited by the DOA contest and will make sure that Kasumi is safe. Then Helena Dules asks the contestants to land on the island with the help of parachutes and reach the DOA compound before the sun goes down or else they will be disqualified. Christina Kasumi and Tina struggle together to climb the compound then all the DOA combatants arrive there and are welcomed by the supervisor Dr. Victor Donovan he tells them that the DOA was created by the late founder famed Douglas who was Helena's father and a good friend of Dr. Victor. After that all combatants undergo physical tests Dr. Victor asks his assistant named Weatherby in the lab complex for all the combatants details which he wants to collect for a mystery project. Weatherby tells him that all the contestants are strong and fit Dr. Victor asks him to bring up Tina Armstrong on the monitor because he thinks that she is strong and competitive the first day of the DOA fighting contest begins and the contestants fight each other. They are told that the fight can begin anytime and anywhere the contestants can see the image of their opponent on the ID bracelets that they are provided with. Bauman Christy Hayabusa Jinfu and Helena make it to the quarterfinal Kasumi has a flashback of her brother Hayate who got invited to the DOA contest in the last tournament. He tells Kasumi that she has to stay back and protect the clan. Then Dr. Victor tells her about how Hayate passed away. He tells Kasumi that Hayate was a great and noble fighter. He was matched against a contestant named Leon. He fell off the balcony and no one found his body. Dr. Victor tells Kasumi that if she fights with the spirit of her brother, she will surely win the DOA contest. Kasumi suspects Dr. Victor is lying about her brother's death. She feels as if he is concealing the truth. Hayabusa requests her to return to the clan and also tells her that Ayane is following her. Then he is convinced to help Kasumi in 
looking for her brother. Kasumi likes Hayabusa but when she tries to express it through actions he feels like he is deviating from his mission to keep her safe. Max and Christy plan to steal 10 million dollars from the vault on the island. DR Victor orders Weatherby to let Kasumi confront Leon in the match. Kasumi is attacked by Ayn in her room, who warns Kasumi that she will finish her off. Kasumi anyways reveals that she has to find out what happened to her brother. Therefore she will not return. Suddenly Leon shows up in her room and fights with her while Ayn flees away. Max tells Christy he believes that Helena could help him to get to the vault on the DOA island. During the two fights with each other, Kasumi realizes that Leon is not a great fighter therefore he couldn't have taken her brother's life. She knocks him out and wins the fight, eventually qualifying for the quarterfinal. DR Victor is impressed by Kasumi's fighting ability and strength as the last spot is still empty for the quarterfinal he commands Weatherby to match Tina against her own father base. Armstrong who goes to her room for the fight but she refuses. Weatherby is attracted towards Helena so he gets jealous when he finds Max flirting with her. He immediately matches by man against him but Max wins the fight on the second day of the DOA fighting contest. Christina wins the fight with her father on a raft and qualifies for the quarterfinal. Hayabusa tells Kasumi that he will check DR Victor's lab while he watches the volleyball match. After that all four girls play volleyball and Hayabusa fights with Dr. Victor's armed staff to reach his lab. When the match is over Kasumi is confronted by Ayn again she tells Ayn that even her brother became a shinobi by joining the DOA contest but Ayn did not pursue him to take his life. Kasumi tells her that she knows that it is because Ayn loved Hay 8. She tells her that Ayn should help her find Hay 8 but she tells Kasumi that Hay 8 is dead. Then the two keep fighting but Ayn leaves when Christy and Tina show up. There. The next match is between Tina and Zack. At the Forbidden Square, Tina defeats Zack who tells her that he wants her to win the contest now. Christy defeats Helena and finds that she has a tattoo of Buddha head at the nape of her neck. The Buddha head is where the hidden vault is present. Christina somehow tries to remember the tattoo and draws it on paper. She then shows it to Max and shows him how the tattoo reveals the code of the hidden vault. DR Victor asks Weatherby to leave the lab and take a day off on the last day of the tournament. Christy, Tina, and Kasumi look for Hayabusa and discover a secret entrance to the main complex where they find Hayabusa unconscious. Right after that all the three girls are gassed and captured. DR Victor finds Weatherby telling everything to Helena about the mystery project. He tells that her father wanted to shut down that project but before he could do it he died on the same day. Then DR Victor orders the armed staff from all the units to gather at the great steps and eliminate Helena and Weatherby. He also asks them not to enter the lab complex for the rest of the day. The armed staff attack Helena and Weatherby but Helena fights them all. After that Weatherby takes Helena to the lab through a secret route that she did not know about. Meanwhile Max follows both of them. Inside the main complex the four semi-finalists Hayabusa Kasumi Christie and Tina are locked in pods. DR Victor shows them the project he has been developing it is an advanced form of neural interface that allows him to use the fighter's combined skills to become the ultimate fighter. He downloads the data into a device shaped like a pair of sunglasses. He reveals that he kept Hay 8 alive and in the best condition to test his technology Hay 8 meets Kasumi and scolds Hayabusa for letting her come to the DOA contest. Hayabusa tells him that Kasumi is stubborn and as strong as Hay 8 is. Hay 8 asks DR Victor to let the contestants go but he challenges Hay 8 to fight and win if he wants others to be free. Then Hayate fights him and after a great struggle between the two DR Victor defeats him. He kicks Hayate who falls off the DOA compound but is saved by Ayane who is relieved to find him alive. Max gets the way to the hidden vault in the Buddha's head while Weatherby and Helena struggle to resolve the mystery project. Weatherby attempts to unlock four security protocols to free the four semi-finalists. 
DR Victor then transmits the live demonstration of his technology to buyers across the world. When Weatherby finds that the program is being transmitted to the buyers, he immediately stops the broadcast and alerts the CIA. DR Victor becomes frustrated and orders by man to rob all the money from the hidden vault and meet him outside the compound. Then he heads towards Helena and Weatherby who tries to unlock the four security protocols. He needs much time to do that task. Before Dr. Victor arrives there Max unlocks the vault and finds the prize. Money just then Bauman arrives there on Dr. Victor's order and knocks him out. Helena confronts Dr. Victor so as to keep him from reaching Weatherby. Dr. Victor reveals to Helena that he took Fame Douglas's life before he could shut down his mystery project. Then they both fight with each other. Until Dr. Victor knocks her out. Weatherby attempting to unlock the pods. Is attacked by Dr. Victor who then. Activates the self-destruct sequence. As he leaves Weatherby wakes up and. Somehow frees all the semi-finalists who. Attack Dr. Victor Christina Tina Kasumi. Helena Hayate and Ayane Lancha. Combined attack on Dr. Victor outside the. Compound Hayabusa fights by man who has. Collected all the money from the vault. Weatherby tries to abort the self-destruct sequence but he finds that the action is irreversible. Outside the compound the contestants struggle to finish off Dr. Victor but because of his powerful glasses he keeps fighting them. Then Weatherby knocks out by man and also frees Max while fighting Dr. Victor's glasses fall off which makes him unable to fight all of the combatants so he tries to escape from them but hey eight attacks him and Kasumi paralyzes him by inserting an acupuncture needle into the nape of his neck. Weatherby takes everyone outside the compound but Max keeps going back to get the bag of money with him. Eventually all the fighters escape the base as it explodes and the flames consume Dr. Victor. In the next scene the fighters hijack the pirate's boat and reunite with Max, Hayabusa and Weatherby. In the final scene Christina Kasumi Tina, Helena and Ayane are shown together. Preparing to fight an army of ninja in Kasumi's palace and the movie ends here. Thanks for watching guys.